today with Dory Durbin. She is an author and illustrator of Little Cat Needs Space and Little Cat Feels Left Out. Oh, and she has also written a new book, and we will be talking about that today, too. Oh, let's get talking to Dory. Hello, Dory! Hello, Robert! <laughs> Hi, Dory. I can't wait to get talking to you. I have a question for you. What made you want to be an author? You know, Robert, there are so many amazing books out there, and there are so many people who have written them, but despite that, I just wanted to have my own story and my own voice to help kids. And I thought the best way to do that is to write a book that they would enjoy. Oh, that is wonderful. That is so great. Now, what is it like being an author? I think it is a fantastic job for any person. Uh, I enjoy talking to the kids and reading my books. I love to make the pictures that go in the books. And then it's really fun to see um, people just enjoying them with their families and their friends. So moms and dads or grandmas and grandpas reading to their kids is uh, it's so much fun to see. Oh, great. So it sounds like you love writing stories to make others happy. I sure do. Oh, I sure hope that's how it works. Oh, yes, wonderful. Okay, now I noticed you are also the illustrator of these wonderful books. Now, how did you get started illustrating? And what is illustrating? So, Robert, illustrating is creating pictures that go with text. So, for me, it's creating pictures that go with stories. And I started doing that after um, some people asked me to draw their, their own pets at their house. Um, and I decided that not only could I draw pets, but I could draw other things and put them in poses and make them show expressions and emotions. And that's part of what illustration is, is showing how the book looks in our mind. Oh, that is wonderful. What is your favorite thing to draw? I have to say my favorite thing has always been cats. I drew cats when I was little and I still like to draw them now. Oh yes, I love kitty cats too. They are so cute and fluffy. Have you always been an author and illustrator? No, no, I've only done that the last three or four years, Robert. I was a teacher and a fitness instructor before that. <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow, thank you for being a teacher. Teachers are so wonderful. Thank you so much. And a fitness instructor, that is fabulous. <laughs> Can you tell me about your children's books? Like Little Cat Feels Left Out, or Little Cat Needs Space. Can you tell me about one of them? What are they all about? Yeah, so both of them have the same characters. They both have Little Cat and they have Dog. And in the first book, Little Cat Needs Space, Little Cat literally wanted some distance from Dog. He was always in her space um, doing things that she didn't want him to do. And in the second book, Little Cat actually loves to be around Dog then and she feels jealous a little bit because Dog has a friend named Mr. Fuzby. And sometimes that happens with kids too, right? Oh, yes, for sure. You feel left out when you see another friend playing with another friend. Oh, yes, I have had that happen to me too. Yes, I think we all have, even adults. Oh, yes, these are great stories. I hear you have a new book. What is the name of your new book? Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> so it's called Little Cat and Dog's Birthday Bake. It's a recipe for caring. Oh, that is wonderful. Can you tell me a little bit about what inspired you to write that book? Sure. So I went and visited a classroom and the kids in the classroom said, you know, we're in second grade. We were getting a little bit too old for those picture books. And I said, what? And they said, are you going to write some chapter books? And so I wrote this book for those older kids that are old enough to read picture books, but not so old to read really big, thick books. This is kind of in between, but the characters are the same. So they'll recognize the characters. Oh, wonderful. I hear it is a great story. Do you mind reading a little bit from your book? <laughs> All right, chapter one, 
dog is dreaming. And as he dreams, he wildly paws at the air and his droopy jowl pulls into a big grin. In his dream, an enormous pink berry covered vanilla cake spins in circles and gently drifts down from the clouds. The cake lands inches from dog's shiny black nose. Dog opens his mouth to take a giant delicious bite, but wakes up as he chomps into nothing but air. What? Dog cries out disappointedly. A low rumbly noise agrees with him. He is awake and hungry now. He sighs and he thinks that cake was just a dream. Slowly, Dog climbs from his bed. Then an exciting realization comes to his mind and his body fills with a burst of energy. Oh, that's right, yippee, it's my birthday, cheers dog. He may have only dreamed about a pink berry vanilla cake, but perhaps a real cake would still be in his future. For last year's birthday, his friends Percival and Rovera baked a delicious chocolate cake with a vanilla biscuit crumble. Dog hopes this year's cake might be like the cake in his dream. He knows everyone just loves to celebrate his birthday. Oh, that is so cute. That is why I wore my chef outfit today. Because it's all about baking a cake for a friend, right? Yes. Yes, oh. it's learning how to do new things like that. Oh, wonderful. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about your story? Sure. So, little cat needs to learn how to bake a cake because she realizes that's the gift she can give dog. And meanwhile, at the same time, Dog is enjoying his birthday celebration with some friends. So the big question is, will little cat figure out how to make this cake? And will dog eat too much that he can't enjoy the birthday? Oh, I think kids are going to love this book. And your illustrations are so beautiful. Oh, I know this is the book to have and read to your kiddos. I wanna know where can families find your books and find out more about you. Oh, well, the first place they can look is on Amazon. They can look for me and my books there. They can also go to my website, which is www.doridurbin.com. And it's easy to find my books and information about me there too. Wonderful, Dory. Now everybody needs to go out and get your new book. But before we go, would you say to a kiddo that has a dream to write a book of their own? Say, take your dream and make it big. Go for it and show people what you can do because your voice is just as important as any adults and kids will listen to what you have to say. Oh, that is great. Thank you, Dory. We had such a wonderful time with you today. I learned so much, and I love all your books. They're perfect. They're so cute and colorful, and they have such a great storyline. I feel inspired to go write my own book. Oh, fantastic. How about you kiddos out there? Are you inspired to write a book too? Thank you for joining us today, Dory. Oh, thank you, Robert, for in inviting me to come. Bye. Bye. I had such a great time today with Dory. I feel inspired to write my own book. How about you? Let's get to our writing activity. We are going to write and illustrate our own page. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Go to thinkaheadkids.com and go to the activity section. Go to the cat story activity. And you're going to print up what you need. And you're going to write your story and put your illustration pieces together. Here's mine. Oh, it was so much fun! It says, the cat licks the cup and eats the cake! Oh, what a great writing activity! Oh, and join us for our next puppet shows and subscribe and like our channel 
so you can see our next shows coming up. Okay, great. Thank you. Bye.